What do we have for Leo, please? Six of Swords, Aquarius energy at the foundation of the reading, Leo. There are a lot of people inside your energy right now, Leo, that really ruled you out, didn't think that you were going to be able to make the necessary changes in your life to be able to step into this new timeline. Now, a lot of you are still going to be in the process of doing this. Some of you are already on the other side. It just really depends where you are in relation to the timeline and this particular journey that I'm picking up on here for you. So take it as it fits. But what the divine the universe is preparing you for is an energy of shock and awe. So what I mean by this is where the divine is guiding you to is going to land you in a position that's literally going to shock people. They're going to be taken aback by the person that you have become, by what you've been able to accomplish in your life in relation to turning things around. You have left behind karmic cycles and dynamics, whether they're having to do with your friends, relationships you were in, for some of you marriages, family dynamics. But these dynamics were holding you back from stepping into your highest potential. I also got a message, and this is definitely not going to be for everybody, but I did get a message surrounding some sort of weird family dynamics where now that you're really starting to step into your power, you're really starting to look at your past and where you've come from from this different perspective, you're starting to see that there's quite possibly some dark secrets surrounding your upbringing, just your family in general. You guys might even be questioning whether or not your parents, your siblings, are actually your parents or your siblings, okay? But I feel as time goes on, you may start to have a little bit more illumination surrounding that particular subject matter. But again, only take that if it fits. And how do you know if that fits or not, right? Well, how do you feel, right? Do you have something from deep down inside of you that has been causing you to question those sorts of relationships in your life? Has it been something that has been on your mind ever since you've been going through an evolution in your life or an awakening? I also feel, Leo, that you're starting to find yourself in a place where you're reparenting yourself, right? So you're finding that you're needing to relearn certain things. I just heard, I don't think I've ever said this one before, calibrating your spiritual motor skills. So because of the awakening process and because you're looking at your life from this different perspective, you're starting to move differently inside your waking life. And it makes perfect sense. You're essentially rewriting the story around who you are, how you perceive life and reality. This all starts to shift. Now, this is major energy that I'm picking up on here, Leo, and this is what's taking place all around you and will continue to take place as we step into this new life cycle, otherwise known as 2024. But with all that said, Leo... If you've been doing the work, you are most definitely on the rise. So it's very important that you keep pushing forward. Six of Swords at the foundation of the reading. What do we have the sacral, please? Nine of Swords. At the sacral. This Nine of Swords is further reiterating the message that we just channeled through with that Six of Swords. But it's giving us a little deeper look here. This energy that I'm seeing for you, Leo, is most certainly not something that's very comfortable to have to come to terms with. You're starting to see things from a different perspective, and it's, it's not pretty, but it's truth, and it's truth that you need to understand. It's truth that you need to recognize. It's your truth, and you need to stand in it. As you can see, this person here is seemingly up at night having a hard time dealing with what can be perceived as visions. There could be a sense of grief here, and it's coming in at that sacral position. You're starting to see a lot of the relationships in your life from a different vantage point, Leo. You're starting to recognize that you were under what can be perceived as a kind of programming, right? It's like a spell. You were expected to live a certain way, to be a certain somebody. And because of this awakening that's taking place in your life, you're breaking out of these dynamics now. And it hurts, Leo. It hurts spiritually, physically, mentally, but it's all a part of this awakening process. You know, going through spiritual awakening, this is not a peaceful process. Spirituality is not peaceful. In fact, it's quite a violent process, okay? Peace is the target. That's where we're trying to get to. But in order to get there, 
you have to go through this upheaval in your life, this realization, this deeper understanding. You have to break out of those shackles that were binding you. This is you truly coming online to the person that you're meant to be, Leo. It's like you're going through a spiritual boot camp. It's during this process that you may feel like you want to just give up and go back to whatever that may be. But it's very important, Leo, that you keep pressing forward because the amount of work that you've done up until this point will all unravel if you go back. And that nagging feeling will remain. It won't go away. I just heard a lot of you are halfway. Some of you are over the halfway mark. But wherever you are, you've come too far to turn back now. And for those of you Leos that are just starting out on this path now, well, this is a message from your future self that you need to keep pushing forward. See, once you step on this path, the path to self-empowerment and enlightenment, you're cloaked by the divine. A lot of you may have been feeling less attacked lately. And what I mean by this is, Leo, as you start to break away from these dynamics, there's these spiritual cords that start to dissolve or break away from you. And what's interesting about this is there's a lot of exposure. You start to see where the source of those cords, those shackles, so to speak, came from. You start to see people in a different light. You start to have illumination around who people really are. People are essentially exposed. I feel that some of you are no longer feeling the presence of some of these individuals inside your energy. It's like they're no longer loitering around. And this can shift from one day to the next. It's like one day you feel really attacked. It's like you keep thinking about these people. You can't get them out of your energy. And then the next day it's just gone. Now, what I feel, Leo, this represents for a lot of you is in accordance with what I was saying about how far you are on the path. It's like you hit a benchmark and then all of a sudden these energies can't pass through into your auric field. You've reached a new level of protection because of all the work you've done. The more work you do, the further and further away you will be from these energies of feeling attacked. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? <sighs> Wow. The further and further away these energies will be from you. Ten of Cups. This is where you're going, Leo. Okay? It's very clear here. Six of Swords. Rite of Passage kind of energy. Forward, beyond this pain. And then here's this Nine of Swords. This is you dealing with this transitionary energy, right? This Nine of Swords can also represent an energy of you starting to detox from these energies, right? It's like your body is trying to get used to the upgrades, your spirit, your mind, all of it. It all works in tandem. Mind, body, and spirit. You're going through these major upgrades. Some of you are waking up in the middle of the night with cold sweats, or maybe some of you are waking up and you feel really hot. It's like your bed is really hot, right? This is all because of what's taking place inside your energy. I feel a lot of you have been waking up in the middle of the night, not being able to go back to sleep. It's like you're wired. You just need to be really gentle on yourself right now, Leo. Just really nurture and love on yourself, okay? I just heard some of you need to take some spiritual baths. This definitely helps, especially if you're dealing with any sort of anxiety or you're feeling anxious. Just relax, Leo, is really what it comes down to. Okay, this Ten of Cups of the Solar Plexus. A lot of you are going to step into this energy sometime in 2024. You know, the Ten of Cups really is the general picture of happiness. It's you finally feeling really content. It's an energy of alignment. This is that target, right? This is that sense of peace. It's like you have to go through this violent process to get to the peace. But just know, Leo, no matter what anybody says to you, you are on the right path. A lot of you are breaking away from family dynamics that are connected to some sort of generational karma. It's like you really starting to realize that you have misaligned values with a lot of the people in your family. You're just not like them. There's something different about you. You have that chain breaker energy about you. Black sheep sort of energy. A lot of you have come from broken homes, rough marriages, and seemingly always had some sort of stress in your relationships making you always feel like there was something wrong with you because you were the common denominator. But that, again, Leo, is a perfect indication that you hold this chain breaker energy. You're all made to feel like there's something wrong with you. It's all a part of the path. But your confidence in yourself and your confidence in your connection with Source and your strong faith to keep pressing forward because you know deep down inside 
that it's not you, it's actually them, is going to start being reflected to you in your reality. It's these sort of dynamics that makes you feel like the entire world is against you. Uh, Leo, this is all a part of it. It's all a part of this programming. All I can tell you is when you get far enough down this path, the way you perceive life, reality, will completely shift. Everything will look different in your waking life. It's quite mind-blowing, Leo. You get to a point where you realize that you were living a lie, that you were just a part of some wicked game or diabolical plan to keep you from seeing the truth. Once you start to have this realization, you start to understand how truly important you are because of the amount of time that was invested into keeping you asleep. And when people hear that, they always say to themselves, because I can literally hear you guys saying it, oh, there's nothing special about me. People, why would people waste their time? And all I can tell you is that if that is a thought you have, if that's what you're saying to yourself, this is a very clear indication that the divine has a special plan for you. Now that's going to be different for each and every one of you. But I am a firm believer that everything happens in a very specific divine order and we all play an incremental role that is highly important. You may need to be in a very specific location at a very specific time when an event unfolds that has a dramatic influence on the rest of the collective, whether it be small or big. You just don't know, Leo, okay? But all I can tell you is, this is the kind of energy that I'm picking up for all of you. What do we have at the heart, please? Ten of Swords at the heart. Gemini energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Gemini. This Ten of Swords at this heart position is representing this new perspective you have, right? So... Before you had this perspective, you may have been holding on to a lot of resentment and bitterness, quite possibly victimizing yourself based off of other people's treatment towards you, which is exactly what they want you to do. They want you to be a victim, right? But what I'm seeing here with this Ten of Swords, Leo, your perspective around who some of these individuals really are, you just see them differently. Let's just say that allows you to completely let go. The resentment and bitterness goes away because... It's like you look at them as being actors or actresses in some sort of diabolical plan to keep you asleep. It's like they're not even real. They're like Agent Smiths. So when you have this perspective, the emotion that you had towards those people and the relationships you had with them goes away because it never even existed. It wasn't even real. It was all make-believe. It was all an act. For a lot of you, it's this perspective that allows you to make this final push forward. And for those of you that still may be dwelling on any sort of past hurts or any of you that are still in this victim mindset, you're essentially just kind of marinating in the toxicity of the past cycles. You need to start programming your mind in accordance with what I just said about them essentially not even being real. It was all an act, right? Astrologically speaking as well, this is what you're being encouraged to do right now because the support is there for it. The divine is clearing your path, Leo, but this is the final step that you need to make in your life. You got to let go. Everything you want is directly up ahead and there's nothing standing in your way. The only thing standing in your way is you and your mindset. That's it. In fact, you can't move forward until you change this mindset, essentially changing your attitude. Okay. What do we have at the throat? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy at the throat. So here you are, Leo, and this is representing that clear path, right? This is what's waiting for you. Going from this Nine of Swords energy, right? Now looking back over the past with this King of Wands at the throat, you're able to compartmentalize and understand. And it's almost like, see how he's clenching his fist? And he doesn't look too happy, right? He kind of looks looks a little upset, a little angry. Well, this is a natural reaction to have when you start to have this different perspective. You're like, none of you are even real. You're all fake. I just heard that some of you are even beginning to question if you even experienced real love. It's like looking back over all your past relationships and these past relationships were part of this old version of you that wasn't awoken yet, that didn't know the truth. They were all part of the act. It's like it was all fake. And a lot of those relationships were reflective on some of your upbringings, which was just completely littered in toxicity. More lust than love, I feel, is what some of you Leos out there had to deal with. It's a harsh realization to have, Leo. 
but you have to know that moving forward into the future, you have this new grip on reality surrounding your entire life, which will now allow you to attract in new love, new opportunities that are in alignment with this awakened version of yourself. And there's also an understanding here, Leo, that you had to go through this to get to where you're going to. We all have to go through an element of this. It's like you had to go through the darkness to truly appreciate the light. As hard as that may have been for you, Leo, it had to go this way. And the sooner you start to accept this, the sooner you're at peace with this, the quicker you can move into this new cycle and start reaping the blessings that the divine has been holding back for you. What do we have in the third eye, please? Wow, the world. At the third eye, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. And now the cycle closes. See, there's steps to being able to exit these karmic cycles in your life, Leo. It takes time. But what we're seeing here with this world at the third eye is you having enough of an understanding now to start pushing forward, integrating everything you've learned through these struggles that you have been through and putting them to good use, pressing forward, right? In the form of discernment, experience. Leo, you have a lot of life experience under your belt. You're very valuable in the eyes of the divine. This is why you are going to be positioned. This is also representing the universe clearing the path for you, giving you access to this world kind of energy, having the world in the palm of your hand, so to speak. A lot of you are going to start feeling more whole spiritually, which will start reflecting on your exterior environment. It's just you really feeling lighter, freer. You don't feel those chains trying to keep you binded anymore, right? A lot of the times you can't even explain what it is. You just feel like something's off. Something's holding you back. Uh, it's spiritual in nature. But this is representing you breaking free of this ten of swords at the heart, an ending, a beginning, the world, completion, six of swords, moving on, ten of cups, the intended target, king of wands, who you've become, male or female, genders don't matter. What do we have with the crown? Wow, the sun. Leo, that is your energy at the crown. The sun is the most positive card in the tarot, right? You had to go through the darkness to truly appreciate the light. I just heard so clearly you're going to become a lover of life. You're going to really feel so connected to Mother Nature. I'm hearing something about birds as well. It's like being in a state of awe by the wildlife around you. It's like you see a bird fly by and you're just like, wow. It's like you feel the presence of God. And what this really indicates, Leo, is you no longer being distracted by the matrix, by our environments. You're able to look past all that now. The noise no longer affects you. You have nothing but a positive outcome here, Leo. But this is also a very clear, very grounded in reality blueprint as to the steps you have to go through to be able to get here, this Ten of Cups and Sun energy. The Sun is at the crown. Message from the Divine. This is where the Divine's trying to get you. Ten of Cups at the solar plexus is representing to us that you taking control back over your life, stepping into this energy of confidence and power. This is what pulls in this Ten of Cups and Sun energy. It's a rebalancing of your solar plexus, which is all related to your confidence. Also, a balancing of your throat chakra, the story you tell yourself, right? Again, I'm hearing something about that victim mindset. You got to get out of that, Leo, okay? Don't hold on to that. If you dwell on all that toxicity, you're giving them a win, okay? Step back, take a deep breath, and look at things from a universal vantage point, and think to yourself, how would spirit want me to move right now? That should be enough to snap you out of it, all right? What do we have at the foundation, please? Wow. Six of Cups right underneath that Six of Swords at the foundation of the reading. Fornius. Scorpio energy. This goes along with everything I just said. This is all about living in the past. It's like you had no identity in the past, right? You were just another person inside the Matrix indoctrinated into the lie. 
this is also representing this energy that was projected onto you that the direction that you're going is unrealistic. Again, tactics that were used against you to keep you engaged inside these karmic cycles. They want you stuck in the past. They want you holding on to that victim mindset so you're always stuck and not able to step into your power. You just want to get to a point, Leo, where these people are so insignificant to you that their actions towards you can almost be seen as a part of the script. They just no longer affect you anymore. What do we have? The sacral, please. Four of Wands, Aries energy person at the sacral. So this Four of Wands coming in right underneath that Nine of Wands at the sacral, this is representing to me you having nightmares about these people, these cycles, these arguments, whatever it represents for you. It's almost as if you wake up from a dream and you start questioning if you're going in the right direction. See, that in and of itself is a clear indication that there's these chains that are breaking down inside your energy. These cords are starting to dissolve. It's almost as if you're starting to have memories unearthing themselves, coming back to you. It's almost as if your mind is playing tricks on you. But what it is, Leo, it's a form of spiritual detoxification taking place inside the dream space. Some of these dreams can be unpleasant. You may feel attacked. Okay, but this will pass, Leo. What do we have the solar plexus, please? Nine of Wands, Marchosius, Sag energy at the solar plexus right underneath that Ten of Cups. Oh, they do not want you having this new beginning, Leo. It's like they want you to doubt that you can actually pull this off, which goes back to, I think, what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. It's like they're shocked. It's of the utmost importance that you keep a distance between you and these individuals right now. You need to keep pushing forward. Maintain these boundaries. This is you literally moving into this Ten of Cups, right? This idea of happiness, whatever this represents for you, and then here they come, trying to stop you. Trying to sabotage you. What do we have at the heart, please? Wow. Ace of Cups in its shadow polarity, Bure, neglecting duties. So I feel that some of these individuals may come back into your life and make you feel like you have some sort of responsibility. You owe them something, right? It's some sort of tactic to stop you from moving any further down this path. It's like they're trying to exhaust you emotionally. The further you go down this path, the less you'll feel attacked. Now, does that mean that these energies will stop trying to use tactics to pull you back into the cycle? Probably not, but you'll be less affected by it. So every time they do use a tactic, just know that when you're able to shut it out or essentially laugh at it, you will have a form of graduation right after you overcome each attack. And with each one, you'll become stronger and stronger. You'll feel more protected. The cycle's closed. Ten of Swords. And I feel that all the tactics they use from this point forward, it's like it's all out in the open. They can't hide from you anymore. You see them for who they really are. The facade is gone. They don't know that. But the Divine has given you perspective, given you the sight to see. Your sight has become your weapon. It's how you defend yourself. Your third eye has opened. You can see the truth. Then we have Six of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, Aladia, Divine Grace. Further reiterating what I just said, you're in this giving and receiving kind of energy with the universe. The further you go down this path, the more that you listen, you understand, you follow this mission statement, the more protected you are the more that starts reflecting on your exterior environment. Slowly but surely, it will reflect in new opportunities coming into your life. New friends, new relationships, take it as it fits. It's also an energy of abundance, financial prosperity. But remember, abundance is always a mindset first. And then it starts to reflect on your exterior environment. And it doesn't always have to be just about money. An abundant mindset touches every sector of your life. But it's very easy to attain when you simply follow your higher guidance. When you follow your higher guidance, you have this cloak of protection. You feel very loved. When you feel very loved by the universe, when you feel very seen by the universe, you start to vibrate at the frequency of abundance. What do we have in the throat? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the throat. Mibahia, 
the eternal God. Intellectual lucidity provides consolation and compensations. Goes along with everything I just said. Here you are receiving now. The divine taking care of you, setting you up. Whatever that may be for you, a new home. It's a sense of stability that you're now stepping into. There's an energy of resources here. You feel protected. You feel aligned. And it's right underneath this king of wands. King, queen. King of wands, queen of pentacles. Very powerful energy. And see how she's looking the other way? It's like he's looking back on the past, having this understanding that he was a part of some diabolical plan. It's usually that perspective that is enough to allow you to disengage, push forward in power, and now step into this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's like here you are looking the other way, right? Maybe you're in your garden, you're planting some vegetables. Mother Earth kind of energy. What do we have in the third eye, please? Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy at the third eye. Mizral. God liberating the oppressed. Self-atonement. Cures mental illness. Deliverance from persecution. <sighs> Speaks on everything we said here, right? Mental illness. It's like this can be seen as this mental illness, right? You up at night. Tormented by this energy. And remember what I said about this will go away, right? This tormenting energy, this energy of these crazy dreams and feeling pulled back into the cycle. Here it is. Here's your spirit guides now ejecting that energy from your life. God liberating the oppressed says it all. What do we have with the crown to close this out for Leo, please? I knew he was going to come out. I knew it. And now, Leo, look who's decided to leave your life. Because you've seen him. You've spotted him. The devil, Samuel, the severity of God, seduction and downfall, communicates with the dead, teaches the occult and magic, right? So this goes along with everything I said here. This is you seeing all of them, whatever it represents for you from this different perspective. You don't see them how you once did, right? They're literally the devils in your life. They're extensions of this devil energy, the matrix, right? The lie, the illusion, the diabolical plan. This is what all this represents here. This energy now being exited from your life right here, shuffling off back to hell. Oh, crap. Leo sees me now for who I really am. Look, right? Looking over his shoulder. This represents all of them, whoever them is to you. They all vibrate at the frequency of the devil. And two complete polar opposites here, right? The sun above the devil... You went through the darkness, and now you step into the light. Leo, this is the message I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Leo. Take care.